Bing Gates over with. Who's the name of the next Bond going to be? Patrick, I'll start with you. I can't get your name wrong. It's the same as mine. Well, it pretty certainly isn't going to be a woman. We've had pretty heavy hints from Bob R. Broccoli, the producer, that they're going to tweak it, they're going to do it different. But to change that completely isn't going to happen. The thing about the Bond franchise, it's a bit like the Marmite Jaw or the British monarchy. So it's being subtly tweaked all the time. And occasionally you have a change in the lead character, but there are certain things that they're not going to play around with because it's um, just too much of a change. And frankly, I don't see why they should. There are plenty of other great female franchises instead of trying to repurpose the Bond franchise. Yes, but I suppose... Uh, Rebecca or Rachel or whatever you want to be called today. Um, so would you, would, you, would, you have, would you have a female Bond, do you think, Rebecca? Uh, do I think it's possible? Yes. Do I think they'll do it? Probably not. My main issue is that this is always held up as like the thing feminists want most in the world. Like the, the feminists are baying for James Bond's blood. This is very low on the list of things that we most care about. Um, we don't, ha we, we're not trying to ruin everyone's fun. I think the issue is how angry it makes some people. And it is almost comical how angry some, and I'm going to say it's usually men, get at the idea that James Bond, who was apparently some kind of role model, despite the fact that he's ostensibly quite bad at his job, very emotionally unhealthy. Um, I'm not sure why he'd be a role model for anybody, um, I, but I think it's unlikely to happen because I think you'd have to change the character so dramatically were it a woman. Um, and I think all sorts of societal questions would suddenly be asked about her lifestyle choices. So I, I agree it's unlikely to happen. OK, just got to pick you up on one thing there that you said, Rebecca, that James Bond was bad at his job. I think he's pretty good at his job. He's saved the world have countless you, times, hasn't he? Have you ever watched one of those chase sequences where they drive through some kind of unspecific Middle Eastern town and yeah, so yeah. 45 people are left dead as he crashes his motorbike, throws it at a child, jumps on somebody else's car? Honestly, the record... Well, he does seem to get away with, with rather a lot. I'll, I'll give you that. He does seem to get away with it. For the 